Sup guys, my big thing 2010. And you might be saying, yeah, so what? It's a Glock. What the hell am I looking at? Well, you're looking at the finished product. And you might still be saying, well, what the hell am I looking at? And that's kind of the whole point. If you look at these sites, they look exactly like any other Glock sites would during the day. But at night, they look like this. And I'm going to show you how I did it. Okay guys, so here's my project. Alright, and I did some testing earlier and I realized that you have to build up like a film. You almost have to, I don't know if you guys can see that. Alright, that was black like the end is here. Alright, now it's got like a film over it. And I don't know how good it's going to show up on camera, but... You've seen glow-in-the-dark stickers. Well, this looks like a really thin version of those glow-in-the-dark stars that you stick on your kid's bedroom ceiling or whatever. So it is going to, it's not perfectly clear, alright? Uh, I'm going to have probably a spot on here afterwards, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot it with some clear to, this is just a, a beater flashlight, so I don't really care what happens to it. But I'm going to hit it with some clear to see if it will hold up. Um, and I did some testing, and you have to spray thin coats, guys, like, uh, six, seven times, like five minutes in between. I don't know if that'll show up on camera, but you can see the film building up on the painter's tape. All right. Now, it's not going to affect the sights on this, on this Glock at all, because the sights were white to begin with, so it's not going to interfere once all this tape comes off and uh, let me set that down so it'll dry and uh, I just did some testing on a on a mag I, I just put I don't know if you can see that with the light but I just uh, put two strips of tape around it and then sprayed it uh, this one's got four coats on it now and it's not thick it doesn't build up so I don't know if it stays on great if it rubs off whatever don't really care uh, I just wanted to see if, if it would work because uh, this would be my spare magazine if I were to need something in the dark in a hurry so and I sprayed it on the inside because if I'm operating in the dark this is the part that would either be in a magazine holder a magazine uh, holster my pocket or my hand 
so or inside the gun eventually so this isn't going to show up to the bad guy that's why i put it in the middle there um but anyway i'll stop rambling 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 and uh i'm gonna let this dry up and probably throw another two or three coats on here just to be safe so i don't have to do it again and okay so here's the results guys it actually worked all right i got a i got a little bit of touching up to do on the right hand side there but i mean it's really dark in here right now and i can it's actually brighter in real life than it is on camera so that'll give you some kind of idea what's going on here but uh there we go poor man glow in the dark sights only took about i don't know took a few minutes to tape it up few minutes to spray it every you know 10 minutes i this is uh six light coats and it's still a little gooey and tacky it kind of wants to peel off like um i don't know like a really thin thin gummy worm sitting on a surface that it doesn't want to stick to if that makes any sense but uh this stuff's supposed to hold the light and glow for four to eight hours after charging uh, so this should be pretty good. You know, you turn your lights off at night, go to bed, lay it on the nightstand. If you need to grab it, you can grab it and go. Hopefully it'll still be alive. Uh, I'll see how long it lasts later tonight. I'll be do doing some testing for the next couple days. But, uh, there you go, guys. Uh, can of glow-in-the-dark spray paint. A little bit of patience. I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and just put a drop of super glue over that front sight and let it cure like that so it stays there forever. Uh, that might be an idea too. So uh, anyway guys, thanks for watching and have a great night.